Hi, I'm Angel Rebo with uh, Mind Dahlia TV from the Conscious Life Expo. And we're blessed to have today Dr. Jacob Lieberman. Jacob, thank you very, very much for being My here today. My pleasure to be here. Excellent. So I would like to start the conversation asking you, what are you passionate about? I'm most passionate about what makes a successful life. I'm most passionate about could we discover the truth of the way life actually works so that we could optimize our health, our wellness, and most of all, how much we're enjoying the life process. Okay. So what would, it, what would be that secret? The secret is this, essentially. If you have ever watched a plant, you know what happens to a plant when the sun comes out? The plant turns towards the light and then aligns itself so it's in perfect place to receive the energy of the light. What I've discovered as a vision scientist and light scientist for 45 years is that the human body works exactly the same way. Plants, animals, and human beings are literally light dependent and guided by light. Every physiological function is light dependent. So throughout the day, all the organs of our body are continually being guided into whatever their function is to optimize our health and wellness. As we begin to realize that light is guiding this process, life becomes more and more effortless. Okay, so how do we align, personally, human beings with light? Have you heard the expression, it caught my eye? What's catching our eye is the light. It's not the eye looking for the light, it's the light grabs the attention of the eye which moves us to the next place that we're supposed to move in the world. See, the whole purpose of vision is to guide movement. What initiates the movement is the light catching the eye, basically telling us where we need to move to next. And this is something that I've been working with for many, many years. And where it began for me was in 1977, after wearing glasses for many years, I had an instantaneous change in my eyesight during, while I was meditating, which is a sort of a strange thing while practicing as an eye doctor. That was the last time I wore glasses in 42 years. I'm 70 years old now. I still see well without glasses at distance and for reading. So that opened up my whole mind and inquiry about how does the body really work? What's really going on here? And that was my second doctorate had to do with um, looking at how light interacts with the eye to change our performance in the world. Can we do the same thing? I mean, yes. Could you tell us how we can do actually the same yeah. thing? Uh, one of the things that I've found that's really fascinating is, you know how people like certain colors and dislike others? What I have found is that the colors that we like are directly related to experiences in our life that are pleasurable. Colors that we dislike have to do with experiences that were traumatic for us or feel unresolved. What's interesting about that is that if there are certain colors we don't like, those particular colors energize different parts of the body. You probably have heard of the chakras yes. of the body. So the chakras have different colors. The reason they're colored differently is that vibration, that particular color of light, energizes that part of the body. And the way that I discovered that over the last 45 years is I saw that when people, for instance, were saying, oh, I'm very uncomfortable looking at red, then I would take a case history on them and they would say, oh, I have reproductive problems. My back, my lower back is an issue. I get urinary tract infections and so on. Whatever color they're uncomfortable with, that part of the body seems to be affected. So for years I have been giving people different glasses with different filters in them or having them use different devices that I've invented to become comfortable with the full spectrum of light. And when they do that, their life changes because they're able to receive more of the light. Imagine if you have a plant and it's only able to take in a small part of the light, then it's not going to develop fully. The same thing happens with human beings. And what is the relationship between 
being aligned with the with the light and being able to heal, let's say, heal oneself from problems of nearsightedness or farsightedness. Well, having been nearsighted for many years and having a large amount of astigmatism, the thing that was very important for me is that when my eyesight cleared in 1976, I was seeing 300% better, but the prescription in my eyes did not change at all. In other words, if you examine my eyes, it still showed I was nearsighted and had a large amount of astigmatism, even though I could still see well. What I discovered from that is that we don't see from the eyes alone. There's another part of us, you could call it mind or awareness, that is actually the primary place from where we see. And so what's happened for me, which is very interesting, is I'm now 70, I'm not nearsighted anymore, I'm farsighted, but I have even more astigmatism, but I still see clearly because I no longer identify with my eyes as the mechanism by which I see. I am trusting a different part of my humanity to guide me. I'll tell you what that part is. You know how sometimes you're aware that your mind is active? What part of you sees that? When the mind is active, the only reason we're aware of it is because something is observing it. That something is the source of the seeing. That's where the actual awareness mechanism within our, our humanity is located. So over the last many, many years, I've identified with that, and now it doesn't make a difference what's happening with the eyes. Something is still able to see, even without the eyes. Have you, you, you said before that you are an author. Yes. So I guess you've documented thoroughly everything that you are telling me. Not only have I documented, but I have created devices that I've taken through the Food and Drug Administration. I've published papers in peer-reviewed journals. So yes, I spent my years doing this. Uh, so what would you recommend people to go and have a look at everything that you have developed and learned throughout the years? Well, they can go to my website, which mm -hmm. is jacoblieberman.org, and Lieberman is L-I-B-E-R-M-A-N, or they might want to read one of the books. The first book was called Light, Medicine of the Future, and it was really talking about the emerging new technology of light therapy. Almost everything I predicted in that first book, which came out in January of 91, is now actually in use. And then I did a, a second book, which was a mind-body approach to vision improvement. It was called Take Off Your Glasses and See. Both of those books were bestsellers and are in probably 12 to 15 languages. And the latest book that is coming out on Tuesday is called Luminous Life, How the Science of Light Unlocks the Art of Living. And it talks about how our entire life is literally guided by light energy. This is not primarily a spiritual text, it's primarily a scientific text with a lot of humanity in it. Wow. I, will, I would like to finish the conversation with you uh, and ask you if you kindly could share with the audience. We have uh, uh, viewers uh, all over the world. Would you mind sharing a piece of advice that you think is going to be really valuable for them? Yeah. If you're one of the Two-thirds of the world's population wear glasses. Hardly anyone is born needing them. If you're one of the people that wear glasses, do a little simple experiment. When you get home at the end of the day, before you, when you step into the house, remove your glasses, put them on the side. You're not gonna bump into walls or you're, you'll recognize your husband or your wife. And leave them off for a period of time. Just doing that will actually cause your eyesight to improve. Just leaving them off when you feel safe at home. And then when you get comfortable with that, walk around the block without the glasses on. If you can then talk your eye doctor into giving you a slightly weaker prescription rather than a stronger one every year, your eyesight will naturally improve. And this is after working with about 45,000 people. So I've had a good year deal of experience in this. Excellent. So thank you very much, Dr. Jacob Liverman.
Again, this is uh, Angel Rebo with Mindalia TV from the Conscious Life Expo. Thank you very much for being with us today.